We have a question from Rob. What an interesting day we're having. Your attribution to kimchi helping with your fat loss has got me trying it and attempting to make my own. Both are great. Yeah, my attempt at making kimchi told me that it's much cheaper and smarter to go to this really nice little Korean uh, market over here and just buy it by the gallon. Uh, yeah, my my attempt was, um, uh, I can't say it nice, uh, horrible. Though my sauerkraut's fabulous. Don't ask. This has got me wondering, what type of kimchi have you been eating and have you been making your own? If so, do you have a recipe to share? So... At the Korean restaurant I go to here in Murray, um, I asked the nice lady, because uh, everything's in Korean, so I can't really tell the difference. I asked for the stuff that's made in shop. So it's the freshest, and it's the most... I got to tell you one thing. It's got stuff in there. I I'm, I'm think I'm glad I don't know the ingredients sometimes, because a lot of the stuff as I eat it, if I were to venture to guess what it was... You would, you probably would never eat, eat it. Also, when you are eating your kimchi, are you having it with anything or just having it on the side? Uh, I do both. You're not going to like what I do. So I also make overnight oatmeal. That's okay. I take a scoop of protein powder that I got from Danielle Woodward, and then I add chia seeds. I add sunflower seeds, and I just dust. So the bowl's about this big, and I just make a layer of chia, a layer of sunflowers flower seeds and then i add raw oatmeal on that so protein power chia sunflower raw oatmeal i sprinkle some uh, powdered cinnamon on top of that sometimes i add raisins my daughter Lindsay, doesn't like them so i don't put the raisins in very often and then i pour in uh pure protein it's a it's a thing you buy over at the costco or at walmart or whatever and we pour in two of those and they got 30 grams each so we got the protein on the bottom, we got the, the, and then you just stir it, stir it, stir it. And I eat about a third of one of those, half one of those, a quarter of one of those sometimes. And I, and I put them in a bowl and I put the kimchi over here, but all the kimchi juice runs into the oatmeal. And I know fermented cabbage with oatmeal sounds terrible. And I would agree if it wasn't me telling you, a hundred percent, I'd be like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life, but I find it fantastic. It's kind of like when I was in college, they did an article on me. They did this big article on me, and what the uh, sports writer found most interesting is I used to have to throw the hammer probably about 10 in the morning at track meets. Let's say the shot put it be 1.30 and the discus would be at 4. So it was real hard to eat, eat during the day. So I would drink ice-cold coffee, I invented it, I guess. Uh, and I'd eat grapefruit. Well, I found out later on that grapefruit has um, a stimulant in it, which is why it's always in diets. And when mixed with caffeine, it actually works. So I was getting this low-end buzz of, I mean, buzz, I mean, it barely did anything. But iced coffee and grapefruit, the, 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 the opening part of the article said something like, Grapefruit and coffee might not sound like an ideal, you know, um, sports performance beverage, but Dan John loves it. And, uh, so oatmeal and kimchi might not sound like a perfect meal, but Dan John loves it. So uh, that's how I do it. Uh, sometimes I just do just eat kimchi. Just, you know, str uh, I'll, I've eaten it straight out of the jar, but the jars are really thick and deep, so I don't, it doesn't work as well as you think. But there are times I'll just eat you know, straight up kimchi. And I like that a lot. Um, I try to eat kimchi now two or three times a day. I was just eating it once, but I just, I just love what's happening to my body. So hope that helps, Rob. Thanks.